So this is the Anne Frank Travelling Exhibition. Here's Anne of course. And this is running from uh, early November to early December, uh, talking about how the Holocaust impacted people in the 1940s and how discrimination still impacts people in the modern day. Um, so we've got um, features on child soldiers, identity in general. For schools we're offering a um, workshop on identity so that students get to understand, new English students get to understand who they are and what characteristics we have in common. Um, and for the public, guided tours are available or just the small going round tours. We have a replica of Anne Brent's bedroom. It's not quite to size but it's very similar. Um, a Holocaust tunnel with information about uh, the Holocaust in it. And then of course we've got the contemporary and historical stuff. This exhibition is talk about uh, racism, fascism, Nazis, persecution of human beings, persecution of Jewish people, back in the Second World War and before the Second World War, but also in a modern context where it's affecting people's lives across the world and now people are being still sucked into uh, the ideology of fascism and hatred. Uh, and we need to make people aware, we need to educate the right, so this is what we're hoping to do with regards to uh, letting people know the facts so as we can help people uh, not to get drawn into this and to, to start to think of the consequences of these actions that happened so many years ago and still happening today. Personally I think that this is a very valuable thing. It's um, Although the workshop itself isn't free, this is completely free to everybody and even if you know about it, it's worth just looking around and being able to educate yourself on it, not necessarily in a, you know, an ignorant sort of way, but just as a reminder of what people have gone through or finding out in other areas where pe what people have gone through. For example, there's a case um, with Serbia and Albania and the slaughter there and just finding it interesting and as a reminder that anybody can be a victim of persecution.